Before understanding the definition of the bearing, first let's understand the origin of the bearing. That how the bearing invent and evolve in years. And to understand it, I have tried to make a short film. I hope you will like it. The history of the bearing. So a very very long time ago, around 3000 BC, in ancient Egypt, people had a problem. They needs to move the massive stones to build the pyramids. Then they used round wooden logs under the stones to move them slides more easily, like the first bearings. And to make this even smoother, they used water as a lubricant. But the first known discovery of ball bearing type device was found in Roman Empire about 40 AD. And this was simple rotating table with balls underneath. It's a zoom to allow the people to eating at the table to simply rotate the table to get the other foods. <laughs> Interesting. And then centuries later, in 15th century, a brilliant mind named Leonardo da Vinci draws sketches that look like modern ball bearing. Yes, my friend, Leonardo da Vinci, one who is famous for his masterpiece art, Mona Lisa. Surprisingly, he was an artist as well as also an inventor and his work was a big step towards better bearings. But the problem was the contact and friction between balls. And then later in 17th century, Galileo Galilei described the cage of the ball. Yes, we know him because of their telescopic invention. And then finally in 1794, United Kingdom, Philip Vaughan, a British inventor and iron master, patented the first modern ball bearing design. And in August 1869, Europe, a smart person, a Farsian bicycle mechanic named Jules Sureri, made important discovery and patented radial style ball bearing. In 1868, in the world's first bicycle road race, the ball bearing were fitted in winning bicycle. Ridden by James Moore, and he wins the first official cycle race in the world. And then in 1883, Germany, Frederick Fischer, founder of FAG, developed an approach for milling and grinding the balls of equal size and exact roundness by means of suitable production machines, which set the stage for creation of independent bearing industries. And then in 1898, a man named Henry Timken, visionary and inventor, invented roller bearings. These were like a magic because they could carry really heavy things. Trains and cars start using them and changing the transportation a lot. And in the same year, Henry Temkin patented the taper roller bearing. And in early 20th century, the modern self-aligning design of ball bearing is attributed to Twang Wing Quest of the SKF ball bearing manufacturer in 1907 when he was awarded Swedish patent number 25406 on its design. And later in 20th century, when we started exploring space, during the space age, we needed a special bearing and scientists invented new materials like ceramic and super strong metals for space bearings. These bearings had to survive the vacuum and extreme temperature of space. And now we are in 21st century. We are in digital age. Bearings have been smart with sensors. Now they can tell you when they need maintenance, helping the machines work well. Thank you so much for your time and watching this. I also want to thank these AI tools and these awesome websites for their beautiful images and footage.
making these videos was completely different experience and i also want to know that what you are feeling about this video so in next video what is the bearing let's deeply understand it thank you so much for the watching